Hey everyone, long time no see. I really apologize for the fact that I've not really been posting up anything on my channel. Uh, money has been a bit tight and yeah, kind of been yeah all over the place basically. So uh, I just want to do um, I just want to do a video doing uh, basically this is my review for Suicide Squad. Um, yes, I know it's, a, it's a quite late. It's been like two or three weeks since it came out. Um, but yeah, I never really did get a chance to watch it uh, until a couple of days ago. So I just decided to do my thoughts on it and just, um, yeah, just let you know what I thought about it. I will try and make this video as short as possible as well so that I don't waste anyone's time. Um, so the long and short of it is I thought it was all right but I believe he had a lot of problems though um, uh, it was entertaining it was action-packed but for me um, some of the story felt a bit all over the place uh, the biggest problem for me in the movie was the, the music you know the music you know they kind of there was a lot of music in it um, almost like a, it was almost like an album or something and the music was a bit jarring as well because you'd be paying attention to one thing then the music will come up you know and kind of in in a way disrupt what they have been setting up with the plots or with the characters or other things like that um, you could say oh that um, Guardians of the Galaxy had uh, music, a lot of music in it as well, but for me, the thing with Guardians of the Galaxy, the music was, it was well balanced. You know, they not, it kind of flowed well with the story, and it was more of, we kind of, the music was more of a placeholder for Peter Quill's emotions. You know, but this one had basically had music for every single character in it. You know, so you not really get. A sense of where the character was coming from an emotional standpoint um, okay characters I did like um, Amanda Waller yeah she was a bitch but um, Viola Davis played her uh, spectacularly uh, Deadshot yeah it's not necessarily Deadshot from the comics but it was interesting nonetheless because you could say the same thing about Wilson Fisk in Dead in the Dead Devil series is not exactly Wilson F Fisk from the comics but Vincent D'Onofrio kills it all the same I thought Will Smith did a decent job uh, the Joker was hardly in it I kind of feel like um, if if we if, they advertised it like there was a lot of Joker in the movie, but there was hardly any of them. And there were just certain things about it, you know, the performance by Jared Leto, you know, it not, it, it was a bit odd to me, maybe because I'd not seen much of him in it. Yes, maybe he was in it for the same amount of time as Tom Holland was in um, Captain America Civil War, but... The thing was for me, Tom Hull, Tom Holland, um, basically, you know, put it down, you know, and just let you know that yeah, he's the new Spider-Man. You know, I like the idea of the Joker being some kind of gangster type figure, but it was not enough for me. Basically, I not really enjoy Harley Quinn. Yes, I'm a big fan of the Batman animated series, but it wouldn't stop me from enjoying Harley Quinn. Um, I kind of feel like they made her seem a bit slutty uh, with the kind of outfit she was wearing and she kind of just looked um, grimy, just a bit dirty, you know. And I don't really think that is Harley Quinn. Uh, and the outfit they gave her was a bit on the extreme. You know, I like the, I, I like the outfit she was having in the New 52 comics. You know where she had a where she had jackets and maybe she was wearing a corset and trousers or something like that. 
but what they gave her the short shorts and the tea and the long sleeve shirts did not really work for me although i did like um the backstory of harley quinzel and how she was um getting infatuated with the joker uh i kind of thought that was really good um yes there are two appearances from certain characters in the dc comics i'm not going to spoil it for you but i'm sure most of you already have an idea of who i'm talking about and all i'll say is i really enjoyed those um appearances one more so than the other you know captain boomerang was all right i think jai courtney was i think i enjoyed him most in this film than i have in any of his other films um i liked el diablo but i kind of feel like there's a moment in the movie that kind of felt like it was just a pause you know before the rest of the story continues and i don't think i don't think that was um necessary but i did enjoy the scene what um nonetheless the main villain of the movie could have been better let's just leave it at that the main villain could have been better and also there was a character in it that kind of looked like the destroyer from the first thor movie you know i'm sure most of you who have watched the movie will know who i'm talking about uh what else rick flag was yeah you know i think i would have preferred it more if it was tom hardy who played it um like i said it's an entertaining movie i watched it with a friend i not enjoyed that much but my friend enjoyed it more so than i did i just kind of feel like there might have been a bit um some plot details that were removed from it and um i know david ayer was saying that it's his final cut or something like that but i kind of hope that there's an extended edition because i would like to see more of those characters because they they don't give us enough basically you know we not get to know those characters individually we not get to um we not get to see their points of view or the, or other things like that and i expected a lot more from a film where the director basically came out of the premiere and just basically said fuck marvel you know and i kind of expected it to be kind of like a renaissance for dc movies but it was just an all right movie anyway guys that's my review for suicide squad uh, yeah it kind of feels like i'm just bitching about it but i'm not i thought it was an entertaining movie but i kind of feel like it could have been much much better and i kind of feel like it is it it does have a cut that makes it much more better and much more understandable but we may or may not get to see that fingers crossed we will anyway guys thank you very much for watching please remember to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you next time oh by the way i will also be posting up a couple of unboxing videos as soon as possible as well so please keep an eye out for that i know i've not really been putting up much but i have somewhat of a haul coming up in a, in the next couple of weeks and i hope you um keep an eye out for that and also keep uh, by the way um remember we're ending the we're reaching the end of august so the disney movie reward um the disney movie reward site in the uk is closing down on september 28th so remember to use your points as best as possible and most of the good stuff has been taken anyway which is very unsettling because i remember putting up a video for you about how to redeem your points and what was available most of it what is gone how and also the there was one other item there was treasure planet disney's treasure planet that was up for sale or for redeeming but they claimed it was a they claimed it was a, it, an error in the system but i'm still bugging them about it to put it back up anyway guys thank you very much for watching thank um please remember to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you next time have a good one